Now this second one is going to is going to be is it's it actually tricks a lot of people because a lot of people think that this water, this next water is good for you, but it's actually not as good as you may think, all right? And it's purified water, all right? Now, purified water, you got to understand how they purify the water. There's a two-step process, all right, in most cases. So a pure, with purified water, yes, they filter out the bad chemicals and the uh, bad bacteria and the contaminants in the water through a filtration process where they just, you know, they just cleanse the whole water, right? They filter out all the chemicals and they funnel the, uh, uh, they funnel the bad, the bad water out, right? Which then leads to purified water. Now, after that, a lot of times the way they filter out the chemicals, it leaves some contaminants in the water. Now, they have to figure out a way to, you know, to get rid of these other contaminants in the water and the bad bacteria. So what they do is they normally add chlorine. Chlorine is added to the water to purify, you know, the water to make it, you know, to get rid of the contaminants, the, the leftover contaminants, whatever survived the first filtration process. So that's how they purify the water. Now, it started off good, but then you see how it can end up bad because if you are purifying the water if you're trying to clean the water and filter the uh, the contaminants out and the chemicals then why would you add another artificial chemical to the water and chlorine being chlorine to purify the water you just added another all you did was just add another artificial chemical to the water so now what what's happening is when you're drinking purified water essentially you're drinking <laughs> almost pool water you know, water that just has a bunch of chlorine in it, right? If you pay attention, you can kind of taste it. You know, the the uh, you could taste the chlorine in the purified in the purified water. Now, the funny part is chlorine is actually been you know chlorine is a disinfectant, right? So why would you be drinking? You know, why would they put a disinfectant in water to cleanse the water? That just doesn't make any sense, right? And so. Um, they also add fluoride uh, and fluoride to the purified water as well to the chlorine and, you know, excessive too much artificial fluoride is also bad for you as well. But the irony is chlor too much chlorine and water has actually been linked to an uh, increase of a lot of, you know, a lot of illnesses and risks of cancers and things like that. So. In the long run, drinking too much of that purified water can actually cause health issues later on down the line. You know, several studies have, you know, it's 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 several studies that have been kind of out there that's kind of, you know, people are starting to put two and two together. You know, when it comes to too much chlorine and then also excessive levels of fluoride in your water also can lead to, you know, certain health issues later on down the uh, later on down the line as well. So, again, when you know when you're drinking this this purified water and it has these chemicals in it your body's not able to absorb the hydration that it needs you know for you to have that you know that that uh proper hydration and optimal health and get where your body can have what it needs to function you know at optimal capacity so um you have to be careful with that purified water um because honestly purified doesn't always mean you know good or healthy for you um, you know, it's just, it just means purify. And there's two different ways that you can clean water. That's the bad way. All right. You can add chlorine to it to, you know, to make the water quote unquote cleaner in the sense of get rid of the contaminants and the bad bacteria, but you got to deal with the chlorine, right? 